have no international consensus behind them. While it imported 21 million tons from Iran in 2009-10, the imports only amounted to 18 million tons in 2010-11. There was a 38% drop last month compared to the same period last year. While Iran used to be the second largest supplier of oil to India, it is in the third position now. The Hindu business line opines that India has adopted a practical yet principled stance to the Iranian crude problem arising from the Islamic Republic's controversial uranium enrichment program. On the other hand, it has reduced imports from Iran from almost 22 million to 17.5 million tons between 2008-9 and 2011-12 and augmented supplies from Iraq and Kuwait which have displaced the former as India's largest crude sources after Saudi Arabia. At the same time, by insisting on its right to import Iranian oil so long as there are no United Nations sanctions in this regard, New Delhi has clearly conveyed that unilateral embargoes by the US or EU cannot pass off as international law binding on others. This two-pronged approach has seemingly paid off with the US now implicitly recognizing that India cannot be persuaded to cut down on its Iranian oil purchases beyond a point. The fact is Iran still supplies a tenth to the country's oil imports. The Times of India in its editorial protest in Moscow writes that tens of thousands of protesters in Moscow attended an anti-government rally this week that signaled growing disenchantment with President Vladimir Putin.